Welcome back guys to another episode of Nagmamagaling sa Math. This is again Rudan TV. Well, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and also share this video with your friends. For today's lesson guys, it's all about uh, finding the area under the normal distribution curve. Now, this one is quite tricky but if you know how to do it, then it's just very easy. So what are you waiting for? Let's go and let's have our example. Now, for today's lesson, as our example, let me just uh, tell you first that we're not just going to convert your normal distribution into standard normal, but at the same time, I would like to share also to you how to find the area under the normal curve between uh, given z for value. So we will describe as to how many percent or what's the probability the distribution bound by a certain curve between two given z score. Remember, z score is actually the converted actual score or actual observation in the data set translated into standard normal distribution. Okay, so with that, let's go and I'm going to show you our example. Okay. For our example, we will determine the area under the standard normal distribution curve between a z-score equals 0 and a z-score equals negative 1.15. Now, by the way, when it comes to our uh, this is our distribution. Because normal distribution happens to be a bell shape, that's why we have here a bell shape uh, diagram. The center here, which is equivalent to our mu or the mean, this is also where the z-score equals 0. Because a z-score equals 0 happens when the particular observation is the same with your mean. Okay? Because once they, were sub they will be subtracted, the answer is 0. That's why the center here is also z equals 0. Now, you have the z-score negative 1.15. Negative 1.15 is found to the left, going this side. It's because this is negative. Technically, that particular score must be less than your mu or less than the mean. So let us draw here some line. Okay. Assuming this is c equals negative 1.15. Okay? Now, since we're asked to find the area under uh, the standard normal distribution curve between these two z score, this is the z equals 0 and negative 1.15. So this is the area now that we are talking about. We're asked to find this area. Now, I want you to understand that in a normal distribution like this, this is the center, the mean. What's found on the other side and the other side are actually the same. Because one characteristic of a normal distribution, they are symmetric. They're symmetric around the mean. They are symmetric in the mean. So from this point going there and this point going here, referring to this diagram, they are exactly alike. So what's found there has an equivalent value also on the other side. It's just that the other side happens to be negative because it's believed to be below the mean. And the other side is positive because it's believed to be above the mean. Now, to find this area, actually, we're going to find the probability distribution of this area that will describe this area. Now, you will write that one as P, the probability distribution of a z-score. Okay, we are describing now the z in between. Okay, a z-score that is... Uh, less than or greater than negative 1.15 okay this one greater than this line but less than zero up until this point so that's what we're looking for now the question is how do we find or the value for this sign or for this shaded portion of the diagram okay that's our concern now what i'm going to show you before we solve this one is actually the table. Now, the table is called the standard normal distribution table. To solve a problem like this one, you need to have what? The standard normal distribution curve because that is our basis of converting our z-score into standard normal distribution. You have to understand that we need our z-score to be up at two decimal places because most of the table available, if I'm not mistaken, is always uh, in two decimal places only. So let's go. I'm going to show you how to use the table and how the how uh, the table looks like. Okay. So let's go. Okay. This is the table that I am telling you. 
the standard normal distribution table. Now, there are other tables that do not exactly um, look like this, but they are actually, they have the same meaning with this or the same interpretation. You notice at this point here, that is zero, zero. That's the center of the, the diagram that I have uh, shared to you. This is where the zero, that's the center. The one, the middle line, the middle. So, what we're going to find now is actually, since that is from zero going to 1.15 is... Okay, we are looking for a z-score equals 1.15. Now, we can disregard the positive or the negative because this one is only picturing out one side of the table. Like I said, uh, both sides happens to be uh, alike because they are symmetrical. So, what we're going to do now to locate this one, it's probably the distribution 1.15, disregarding the negative sign. The first, okay, the whole number and the first decimal point, you are going to look it look uh, the first column so you have 1.1 that's here 1.1 and then the one on top is actually the second uh, decimal value which is 5 we will look for 5 it's here now we will cross that one cross check that up until here and then going up down here so we have now the value so the answer for this one is actually 0.3749 that's how we use it. For example, if we're looking for a z-score equals, example, 0 0.59. For example, what must be the standard normal distribution value based from the table? So what you're going to do, your first decimal place value and then the uh, whole number is 0 0.5. So we are going to look for 0 0.5 using this column. Okay, you have 0 0.5, it's here. And then the second place value, decimal place value is 9. So you are going to look for 9 here. So this is the value for this one. That is 0 0.224. Okay, that's how we use the table. You just simply R8 like this. Go in here and then look the second place value above. Okay, that's how we use the table. Okay. Now, again, our value for 1.15 is 37.49. Let's go back to our uh, problem. Okay, so this notation here, we, re we read this one as the probability distribution of a z-score, describing the z-score here, that is greater than negative 1.15, meaning to say greater this value here, and then, but less than zero, meaning to say up until here. So we're describing the z-score in between. How many percent of the data set that is bound within this area? And to do that one, like I said, we will get the value of this one here from the table. Now, I told you the 0, 0, the, uh, the beginning of our table is from here. And then we're looking up until here. So to do that one, we will get the value here by simply finding the value for this one. Since the reference here is from 0, so there's nothing to worry about. We just simply get the value of this one based on what we have on the table. It is 37 or 0 0.3740. Nine. Okay, so this value here is actually representing this side, the one that is shaded. Okay, that is what uh, is going to happen. So this is the probability distribution of this area in decimal point. Now, once you round this, actually, or that is 37.49 percent in percent form as we multiply this one, as we multiply this one into. 100%. So, meaning to say, this area here, the, the curve, or the area bound by this curve here, this curve, is approximately 37.49%. It implies that a data that is located here, a data that is located here is somewhat 37.49% um, of the distribution. So, it's like, when you're asked, how many percent of the data that is less than one standard deviation below the mean that is approximately 37.49 percent okay that's how we use the table and uh, how we answer the problem so there you go guys that's our lesson for today you now learn how to use the table and of course how to answer problems related to areas bound by the normal curve if you have some comments, suggestions, leave it in the comment section. Let me, let me know what's your feel about the discussion for today. With that, thank you so much for being with me. Be safe, everybody, and God bless you.